Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and that you are having fun with all the Christmas music and the Christmas shopping. I know that I am. Today is just going to be a really quick video on a little drugstore lippy that I am in love with. I am currently wearing it and I think that it is absolutely wonderful. I love the formula, the colors that they have. So I hope that you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you like quick reviews like this, then please subscribe because I'll be having some more coming up. But let's get on into it. So the product I'm going to be talking about is the Wet n Wild Megalast. Um, they're called Liquid, Liquid Cat Suit. And this is what they look like. And it's either new for winter or new for the holiday. I'm not sure which, but they had a ton of colors. I picked up the ones that I thought that I was going to wear the most. They had multiple, you know, kind of berry colors. They had multiple nudes, multiple pinks, multiple reds. So I kind of picked up one solid from each. I didn't get a red because I have so many reds in my collection that it was just kind of ridiculous to get more. I just didn't think I would use it as much. So now that I love these though, I'm going to end up going back probably and getting more colors, um, even though I probably shouldn't because I have too many liquid lipsticks to begin with. But I just wanted to share that I love these and to share a little bit about them. So the color that I'm wearing right now is actually Rebel Rose. It is 924B and it is like the perfect mauve nude, nude, nude. <laughs> It is not completely nude. It just has that little hint of mauve kind of purple in it. And I think that it just adds that perfect color to a look you can wear day or night, which I love. The other color I got is, let's see, 920B Nudie Patootie. Wet n Wild is so adorable with their names this year. And this is really like the perfect nude. I mean, it's a very light nude, so if you like that, this will definitely be one that you like. It does lean cool tone, but I wouldn't say it's completely gray. It is more neutral, but it does lean cool, but I thought that this was perfect for an everyday. And then I also got Berry Recognize, and this is, you know, it's not a super deep plum, and it's not a pinky plum. It's like the perfect berry shade, so I thought this was really good for this time of year. If you don't know this about me, plums are probably my favorite to wear, and then reds, and then nudes, even though I mostly wear nudes on here. I don't know why, but um, I love my plummy reds. And I'm going to swatch these, and I'll kind of tell you a little bit about the formula. So when they go on, they go on a little bit creamy. They don't really have much of a smell if they do. It's very, very, very light vanilla. Um, I don't really smell anything on my lips when I'm putting it on. I mean, you really have to sniff this, um, but the thing that I do like about these is I love the wand. These are probably my favorite um, wand and that I've ever tried probably of any kind of lip product. And it's a very small doe foot applicator, applicator but it is curved, so it really hugs that lip really nicely. And the nice thing about this too is that since it is small, you can really line your lips really well. So you don't have a big doe foot applicator trying to line your lips and then you kind of move and oh no, like you went really out, you know, outside the lines and now you're screwed because it's a liquid lipstick and it stains pretty easily. I love that curvature. I think for a lot of people, they would initially go, oh, I don't like that. What if it doesn't fit into my lips nicely? But it just glides on. It holds the perfect amount of product and it just glides on beautifully. I actually, I usually don't wear liquid, lip, liquid lipsticks to work all that much, but I have been with this and for, it is so creamy. Like this goes on just so creamy. I mean, it really is like butter. I'm just like putting it all over my hand. So this is Nudie Patootie and hopefully you can see that pretty well, but it is really like a nice, nice, just neutral kind of not a bone color, but a little bit deeper than a bone. It really is that perfect neutral. So there is Nudie Patootie. These go on creamy. They do take a while to dry down. When you do initially go and um, go to drink, like when I go to drink coffee in the morning at work, I will see quite a bit of, of the lipstick, of the product on the... Um, 
lip of, you know, my, what do you call those things? Therm, not thermos. Why am I forgetting this? I can't remember the, what I'm thinking right now, but I do see some product on the lip of my coffee mug. I don't know, thermal? Is that what it's called? I don't know what's going on, but when I look in the mirror, this lasts all day, by the way. I've eaten linguine with um, garlic and oil sauce. I've eaten minestrone soup. I've eaten an apple today. I've eaten carrots, bell pepper, a sweet potato hash, eggs. Like, I love food, but this stays on all day. And when it does kind of go away, when it does wear away, you still have a nice stain and it wears away evenly. It's not splotchy. It doesn't break apart. It doesn't dry out your lips. I that's why I almost never wear liquid lipsticks unless I'm going to like an event and I need something all night. I don't like that dry feeling. I hate when I when I smile and my lips start to crack or when I can feel like little dry um, pieces of like skin coming up. I hate that. So this is the color I'm wearing right now and this is called Rebel Rose. This is the one I've been wearing the most and it is just so creamy and they are pigmented. They are not at all splotchy or patchy I mean they really are creamy and beautiful and they wear off wonderfully which I appreciate a lot because I don't have time at work to be worrying about lipstick put something on either it lasts all day or it doesn't and if it doesn't last all day it needs to come off evenly the last shade that I have is Berry Recognize and none of these have you know very harsh smells but Oh, yes. I love these colors. And by the way, you get 0.21 ounces, so these are pretty hefty. And here are the three shades I have. I just think that these are all such beautiful colors, very wearable, wonderful formula, nice and pigmented, creamy. Again, they wear off beautifully. They're not hard to get off, though. Um, you can eat with them. They feel wonderful. They're not, you know, harshly dry or anything. But I just wanted to let you know because I realized today I was wearing it three days in a row and that's unheard of for me for liquid lipsticks. Now I know initially you're going to be like, it's not really liquid lipstick. You said it comes off in your cup. Yes, it does. But after a few hours it dries down and it still has that beautiful, beautiful stain. The color, even though the initial top layer may wear off, that color still stays on your lips. I mean, I've been wearing this for almost over nine hours now, almost 10 hours, and it still looks like this. I mean, I might have like a little bit missing here, and I kind of got a little bit here, but no one would ever say anything. I wouldn't even take the trouble to go and fix this. It's good to go. I'm good, you know. So here are the colors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you like quick reviews like this about little random things, especially cheap. These are, I think, $3.99 each. If not, they're $2.99. Totally worth it. Try one. Just try one. Test it out. Wear it all day. See if you like it. Um, I hope that you do. If this was helpful, then please subscribe and continue on this journey with me. Bye, guys. I hope you enjoy the holiday season.